What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all latest Dodgers news, rumors, hype videos, podcasts, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see even more Dodgers content, hit that like button. Also, I want your takes down below in the comment section. Are Chris Taylor's and Cody Bellinger's injuries a serious concern? Give me a Y for yes or give me an N for no. Give me your takes down below in the comment section. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to Dodgers Nation. So a little bittersweet for the Dodgers yesterday. On one hand, they blow out the Oakland A's. They win 10-3. Dustin May has his coming out party. Apparently, the Oakland A's just aren't going to baseball in 2021. You have A's fans on Twitter calling them the Oakland Pathetics. But it's still early. They can still turn around. I think the A's are going to have a good season. But for the Dodgers, they dominated. Dustin May looked good. But Chris Taylor and Cody Bellinger had to leave the game early due to injury. First CT3, top of the third inning. He gets hit by a 96 mile per hour Frankie Montas fastball right in the elbow. No one count. Frankie Montas just plunks CT3 right on the elbow and you see how much pain he's in right away. That arm just goes dead. That had to hurt. 96 miles per hour just plunk right on the elbow right there. And then later in the game, in the top of the ninth, Cody Bellinger hits a chopper off Raymin Goudouin and he gets spiked on his way to first. Top of the ninth, Bellinger hits a chopper to Olsen. It's a race to the bat with him and Gudwan, and boom, spike right there. They get into a collision, and Bellinger's saying he's saved, and then you see him start limping right away. So it's clear that he's in some pain right here. If you've ever been spiked, it does not feel good. That thing hurts, but you see he does beat Gudwan to the bag right here. He's safe. It's clear, and then boom, a little spike TV action to Cody Bellinger right there. Here's it again, a little spike right there, and that has to smart, but give Bellinger a lot of credit the game's out of reach Dodgers up 10 to 3 he's still hustling down the line but he does get rewarded it goes as a single and I'm pretty sure that Bellinger is happy about that you always want every hit you can get so after the injury, Gavin Lux came in to run for Cody Bellinger, and everyone was going crazy after the game. You had some people saying it looked like it could be an Achilles injury, but it was just a spike, and Dave Roberts, he provided an update on Chris Taylor and Cody Bellinger right after the game. What I've heard is uh, CT got, a, uh, got an x-ray on the left elbow, and it was negative. Uh, some uh, certainly some soreness and some swelling. Um, I just put him in the day-to-day -day category. Uh, Cody got clouded um, when he uh, legged up that single. Um, so he got clouded on the back lower part of his calf. Uh, but it's just more sore. Um, it's not an ankle thing. Um, so he made a comment that the uh, – ice uh, that he was getting hurts worse than the clip marks but uh, so he's kind of with CT the day to day we'll see we'll know more tomorrow morning so sorry for the quality of that audio. I know it was terrible. I don't know if that was a Dodgers problem or an Oakland Coliseum problem, but if you've ever been to the Oakland Coliseum, that place is a dump, so I wouldn't put it past them. But if Chris Taylor and Cody Bellinger have to miss some time, the Dodgers have Zach McKinstry. Zach McKinstry can do it all. He can play infield. He can play outfield. I call him the Zach of all trades because he can get it done anywhere on the diamond, and he is raking so far this season. He's slashing 545, 500, slugging 1,090. OPSing 1591, four RBIs, a home run, three doubles, and he's been outstanding. Zach McKinstry has been that guy that we expect him to be. We knew it was coming, but he is filling those shoes and then some. The Dodgers are actually getting better with Zach McKinstry, and what's impressed me the most with Zach McKinstry is the poise. This is a guy who has the shoes to fill in Kike Hernandez. He's joining the prohibitive favorite to win the World Series, the Los Angeles Dodgers, and he's playing like a vet. You're seeing the consistency, the quality at bats, the two-strike hitting. This guy is getting it done for the Dodgers. He's tied for third in RBIs. He's tied for first with doubles in just 11 at-bats. They need to find a way to get this guy more playing time and more at-bats because if he does, he could be a contender to win Rookie of the Year, and I think that is what this team needs to focus on. How do you get Zach McKinstry more reps? Because this guy is the real deal, and what a great story. He was picked in the 33rd round of the 2016 draft. That's still not as low as Mike Piazza, who was picked in the 62nd round, but he has made the most of his opportunity. This guy is a hustler. He's a grinder, and that's what I love about him. And after the game, he talked about what's going right for him early on this season. 
Brownie and I talked about it a lot. Uh, just not trying to do too much. Uh, just trying to get the job done. Um, when I'm leading off, just trying to get on base, uh, not trying to do too much. Uh, I mean, there's superstars right behind me, so like Mookie and Seager. So I don't really have to do that much to uh, just got to get in scoring position and they'll do the rest. And then he was asked about how he's so locked in right now. And here's what he had to say. Yeah, I mean, last year on the alternate side, it was hard to get locked in and have a routine. So uh, it's definitely nice to have a routine and uh, go through it every day and have confidence when you're at the plate. Um, just talking with the hitting coaches, they're really good at getting us prepared for the games. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just kind of everything adding up. And uh, I mean, my swing feels uh, just as good as it did at the beginning of spring training this year. And feels uh, it's nice to have uh, my swing feeling good. So I'm just saying, if Dave Roberts led Zach McKinstry bat on opening day, the Dodgers could be undefeated right now. Instead, they go with Matt Beatty, and the Dodgers drop that one. But Zach McKinstry has been everything and then some so far this season for the Dodgers. I just want to see him get more playing time. If only he could bat right-handed. That is what he needs to work on this offseason, is learn how to hit from the right side, Zach. No, I'm just playing. But I really like what I've seen from him. A lot to be excited about when it comes to Zach McKinstry early on this year. And let me know down below in the comments. What should the Dodgers do with Zach McKinstry? Where do you want to see him play most? Should he get more playing time? Let me know down below in the comments section. And are Cody Bellinger and Chris Taylor's injuries something to be concerned about? I think CT3, he'll be sore today, but he'll be fine. And then Cody Bellinger, he's going to be more than fine. He's a tough kid. All he cared about was being safe on the play. But give me your takes down below in the comments section. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. If you haven't yet subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. It's the fastest growing Dodgers YouTube channel in the game. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For all latest Dodgers Nation gear, head over to gearup.la. Some of the best Dodgers t-shirt designs in the game right over there at gearup.la. Today I'm rocking my Dodgers from Death Row shirt. Love this one. One of my favorites. Designed by my man Eddie, the real me three over on Twitter and Instagram. And also also, for the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.